good old THX. Apple approved the app. Yeah, in case you haven't heard the uh, amazing news, Apple approved my app, which was built with Laravel and PHP and Livewire and all of that stuff, which is amazing. This changes everything. Um, what does it mean? It means that any PHP developer, or especially Laravel developers right now, can go and build iPhone apps without having to go and learn a whole bunch of other things, which is cool. Um, I think it's cool. Basically, I, I don't, I think you should learn new things. You should try and learn new things, like go and learn Swift and Kotlin and React and React Native and all of that stuff. But you don't have to. Learning is good, but not learning can sometimes be better. Um, because you've already done the learning, and now you can use what you've already learned. Uh, I know what that's like. I have invested a lot of time in my programming skills within PHP. I just want to keep using those and taking advantage of that. And now we can, um, because you can go and build iPhone apps with it, which is something you might not have been able to do before. So that's cool. Well done. Uh, pat yourself on the back for investing in and continuing with PHP. Um, right, what are we going to do? Well, we've got to continue this project. Now that, now that Apple will let us basically ship apps to the App Store this way, now we want to make them good apps. My app isn't good. My app is pretty rubbish. But it was approved. That's the point. It did what it was meant to do. Um... I might go back and fix it and make it better. I might not, <laughs> honestly. I don't know if I've got time for that. But uh, what I do want to do is make this library amazing so that everyone can build really cool apps. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And you can get in on the fun. Um, as I did announce in my talk that it's not going to be open source because it's, t it's taken me a lot of time to get here. And honestly... I can't afford to keep on investing that amount of time and not see any income from it. Um, but I also want this to move quickly. So I think like I, I've got to be able to recover some of that. Um, and yeah, I, I'm quite pleased with the response so far. It's been good. Um, quite a few people are getting their hands dirty with the, the package. So um, yeah, come and join the fun. So Here's how you can do that. Uh, come to nativephp.com slash iOS and buy a license, basically. It's on early access pricing right now, which is heavily discounted, I will say. Uh, there will be other options in the future, but right now, this whilst we're building things out, the early access program is the way to get in. Yeah, I, there's a lot of value here, and I think there's a lot of opportunity for people to create value. So... Uh, this feels right for now. Um, yeah, anyway, what have we got? Well, we've moved from this sort of proof of concept. So the app that I released to the App Store is kind of built on this hacky version of this thing. Um, and this version is different. This version is a proper composer package, and you can install it directly into your Laravel application. And then you can just run a few commands, and boom, there you've got an app. So that's just what I want to do is show you that. Um, so we would join the early access program, we'd get a license, and then we'd get access to the repo, right? And there's some instructions here. So we need to have a Laravel application up and running. So let's do that. So we're going to do Laravel new, mm, we'll call it hello iOS. Um, so we'll just run through this real quick. Hopefully, real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Right, and then um, what do we need to do? Well, I want to go into the project. What do we call it? Hello, iOS. Um, we'll just get this open, make sure it works. Cool, that's working. Good. And then uh, it's not what I want. And then from there, we want to 
uh, well, I just want to install my package, so I'm going to open up Sublime. Wow, that's really big. Um, I don't really care. I'm going to do this bit from the docs, so I need that chunk of stuff. I don't have that in here yet, so I can just paste that in and just jiggle this around because it's a bit gross. There, that's a bit tidier. And then I can do composer require native PHP slash iOS. Right, now this is prompting me for my details for any stack, which is where we buy the license from. And I think this is just a test account, so I think I've got it set up on my personal thing. And then the password is the license key. So I need my license key. Paste that in. Do you want to store those? Sure, let's do that. So I want to be able to use this on more projects. Right, it's installing. Great, and then we should be able to do PHP artisan native install. And this has to go and download some PHP binaries, so that's done that nice and quickly for us. Woohoo! And then what else do we want to do? We want to PHP artisan native run. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and the target device. I just want a uh, iOS, no, iPhone. There we go. 16 Pro Max Simulator. Yeah, the big one. Let's go with that. Should get a simulator. Oh, it's popped up on the other screen. So this is the simulator. It's probably got the app already installed as it happens because I've been testing this out and I didn't delete it, but we should see this update. So it's running the build. That's what all of this stuff is going on in the background. We're building, 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 building. Uh, so we should see it do like composer stuff and then maybe some NPM stuff. Yep, it's done that all successfully. It, now it's installing it on the device. And it's opening it. And there it is. As quick as that. Um, amazing. That's it. Now you can go and build your iPhone app. Um, sweet. So that's cool. Let's make a change. Let's make a change to our thing. Just say hello, iOS. Save that. And we're going to rerun. <laughs> Isn't this so fun? Like, you can just do this stuff. We'll get some kind of hot reloading thing going at some point so that you can just make changes locally and see them reflected in the. Um, the simulator, but that won't, yeah, that will only work on the simulator, I think. Cool, yeah, it's not very pretty because it's very far away. Yeah, anyway, that's that. So yeah, we, what, what do we do now? We must ship, we must ship iPhone apps. So, or yeah, mobile apps. Um, cool, have fun with this. And let me know what you build. Can't wait to see what it is. Bye.